Hey everybody, it's Martile, and I'm going to show you how to upload an image on CraftyLink. I am here on CraftyLink.com and I'm here at my sign in page. So I'm just going to go ahead and sign in. And I've come to the main page on CraftyLink and I can upload a photo in a in various places on the site. So first place that I can do that is actually on my profile. So here's my profile. I'll just go ahead and click on that. And so here I am. Uh, and there are a couple places I can do that. So if I keep scrolling down past all the comments, you'll see um, my photo section. And at the bottom of my photo section, you can add photos here. So if you want to add photos here, all you have to do is click on that button and um, you can click here or you can use a simple uploader, whichever is easiest for you. So I'll use the simple uploader because that um, is usually the most user friendly. Uh, so you can choose uh, files to upload and it's very, very simple. So I'll start with number one and I'll just choose a file. So I'm going to go over here to my pictures and I'm just going to pick a picture of myself and um, I'll pick one from my craft show and I can do multiple of them in this particular one and I'll choose a couple of these and uh, I don't know, uh, what about this one? Okay, so I'm gonna add, so I have three photos. Now, obviously I can do eight of them here. And so I can, once I've added all those photos, I just click add photos. And make sure you don't close out of this window until it's done. Um, you, like it says, please leave this window open while the uploading process completes because you want to make sure that those photos make it onto your profile. So now my my photos, there, there I am at my craft show, um, there I am in my studio smiling at the camera, and there I am again at my photo at my studio again. So I can uh, name these of course, so Recycled Craft Show November 2012, just put a space there and um, I can delete this part. Um, if I want to put a description, I can, and I can also put tags. Martile Snapshot 11, I can leave that, and I'll just put uh, Martile Snapshot 12 on there as well. Now I can put descriptions on all of these. If you want to keep a title, description, and tag, and put it on all of your photos, you can hit apply to all and it will add it to all of them. You can rotate the photos uh, if they upload in the wrong direction. So say this was the wrong direction and it needed to be um, vertical instead of horizontal. So I can rotate it back and forth. And so it'll just keep rotating until um, you get it to the right direction. So these three photos is uh, you can make an album so I can say pictures pictures of Martile and I can put in a description, a location and tags here. Now I have chose uh, I have a couple of things over here that I've chosen from before and so I can choose an album if I'd like and I have Sumatra products from before but since I don't want those to go into Sumatra products I'm just gonna hit save so now I have these three lovely little pictures and there they are and if I want to share this I just click the share button and I can click on the different ones I want to share and send to and add a message and then hit the share this page and it'll go there. Okay, so now you want to go and share this say with your friends um, on an art group. So 
So here we are, we're on the art group page and I'm gonna go to Scarfed, um, my art group. And now this can be applied to any art group you're in. So please feel free to, this is the same for any art group, whether it's with Kelly or Nikki or Edie or Elisa or Kira or any of us, it doesn't matter whatsoever. So here we are and the art group. And um, so I'm just gonna scroll down here. And you'll notice that uh, there's a, so here's a lovely like discussion. And then there is the blog feed and then there's the comment wall. So say uh, you wanna share something, whether it's on one of these discussions or it's on the comment wall, it's gonna be exactly the same. You'll have the same toolbar right up here. So the way that you will do that is you're going to click on this little logo, this light blue logo, and it says image. So we're gonna go there. Now, the way you do it is you choose file, and here I am, I'm back at my images, but I'm not gonna upload a, a something of myself this time. I'm gonna choose a different picture. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna grab something else. Grab a picture of this scarf. And I'll let it load. Now there are different ways that you can add it to the page. You can put it left, center, right, or full size, and that's the full size of the pixels. Um, and you can see it here. And um, this is the link that uh, the Ning group, which Crafty Link is on, will give it. And you just put OK. And so here it is, and we need to stretch it out um, a little bit. And it's pretty big. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the corner here, and we're just going to drag it and make it a little bit smaller. But it's still pretty big. So until you get that double-sided arrow, you're just going to use the left button on your mouse, press and hold, drag, and make it smaller. So now it's in that window. And just to add it, it then I can just press enter. Well, it should be, but there we go. I press enter and say um, brain coral scar by Nortiel. Oop, misspell my name. And then I can just hit comment and there it is and it shows up. Now the great thing about this is that anyone can come along and pin your image and share it on the site and that's the and furthermore even just sharing we can see your images and very easily see what you're working on during the week even if we're not sharing your images. So that's exactly how you will do it. Uh, if you have questions or comments, you can always ask any one of us uh, here on Crafty Link. Uh, so you, if you want to get a hold of us, go to uh, the art groups, and here we all are. And feel free to contact us anytime. Annie, Edie, Elisa, myself, Martiel, Kelly, Nikki, Kira, and Anne. And we're here to help you and make uh, your experience here on Crafty Link a fun and uh, delightful one, as always. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on how to upload a photo onto Crafty Link. And contact us if you have questions, and we'll see you around the site. Have a great day.